Hey everyone, so uh, in this video I'm going to be doing the cob for the walls and uh, getting some machines in. Now because I've committed to getting these machines I really need to get the walls where the machines are going to go finished cobbed, whitewashed and the top sealed and everything so I can put the machines up against the wall and then not touch them again because they're really heavy. I don't want to move them around loads of times so um, that's the goal for today. Uh, is to get prepared for doing that, um, get those in and then I'll fill in all the walls around them if that makes sense. But yeah, let's get to work. Alright, back in the top workshop. So I've just, uh, this roller cob here has been sat here for about a month so it's gone a bit hard so I just worked that up a bit with the tractor and my feet, added some more water and straw and stuff. So yeah, the lathes go in there. So I need to fill in that top bit. I'm going to put a bit of cordwood in to fill out some space, less cob then. And the mill is going there in, that, in the centre of that curve. Um, so I need to get that bit done so the mill can sit there. I get it whitewashed over the weekend then. And then Tuesday I'm going to get the tools. Hey everyone, so a uh, little bit's happened since the last time I filmed. I did this corner and a bit of the uh, cordwood along the top and I had someone helping me that day as well and uh, they did a little bit around there and then I had a friend come and stay for me for the weekend. We did another little patch. We ran out of cob before we could finish it. Um, but yeah, last yesterday I got up at 3 in the morning and drove to Birmingham to pick up a lathe and a mill and towed it all the way home. Three ton trailer, so that was exciting. Um, borrowed a Land Rover to do it. And yeah, they're here, so now I just need to get them in. So the job today is I need to go and uh, get all the straps and everything off ready because the neighbor's coming down with the tractor to put the mill in and reverse the trailer down this slope for me because this uh, three ton trailer will drag a Land Rover down that slope because the brakes don't work backwards on a trailer. So, yeah, I need, uh, need something a bit more substantial. So yeah, I'm gonna get prepared for that. Hopefully get these in at least, uh, at least in the building today. All right, ready for the big reveal. Keep them nice and dry, well strapped so they didn't go anywhere. So view from the front, or the side. So yeah, you imagine that's quite a weight to tow. It's 1.2, 1.3 tons, 700. Trailer weighs 900. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of weight. It was a slow, slow drive back. Yeah, let's uh, get some straps off and have a little look at them. Yeah, the mill is in, I mean, like, unbelievably good condition. Like, really good. No wear in it at all. Someone, I think a hobbyist, has spent a lot of time putting in uh, single phase motors on it. And it's been, just, it's got lots of little things where you can see someone's added all these little touches to it. And, uh, yeah, really, really good condition. We've got the mill, neighbour came down with his big tractor, dropped it off just in the door and uh, now I'm just slowly work it 
over to where it's going. It's lovely this thing, really nice. And uh, we're in the clouds today and it's got uh, wet all over it so I need to get it in here and uh, oiled and protected. But yeah, change of plan on the lathe, lathe's going back. Absolute nightmare, I'm not going to get into it. But a uh, complete waste of time. Towed it all the way here and it's, um, it's not up to scratch. I'm not happy with it. So, uh, paying for a lorry to take it back basically. Big waste of time but never mind. It's got to be right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and work this going over there. So I've got it about halfway. Sorry about the camera, it's all steamed up in here. It's just, we're in the clouds. Slowly but surely, inch by inch, I'll get it there. Morning everyone, so a bit of a nicer day today. Uh, we're not in the clouds anymore, which is nice because it's a bit miserable the last few uh, days and everything went wrong last week. I'm not going to go too far into it, but yeah, I spent a lot of time, a lot of money and got nowhere. So this week, no pissing about, I'm going to get this plastering done. So just done a massive, monstrous mix of cob, two big bucket full, a bucket full of sand, a bucket full of clay, a load of straw and uh, get this plastering done. That's the, that's the goal this week. Yeah, hot already, because uh, just been mixing that. But yeah, let's get to work. Right, so I'm uh, just going to go up and get some more sand from the top where I get the sand delivered. I hope you can hear me okay. But uh, yeah, Dot's going to fly the drone, and we'll go and get some sand. Come on, tractor. There we go. Let's go. sand pile let's get a little scoop of sand as you can see I had a load more wood delivered for the sawmill uh, cost an absolute fortune way more than I paid last time and the quality of it's pretty crap so uh, I'm a bit disappointed with it but some wood is better than no wood Lower range, and in we go. Uh, just need to go and get a little bit more clay because I didn't quite have the full scoop. So I'm just going to go around the back of the building and go to the pile of uh, clay that we dug out. Right, let's go.
Right, mix number two is on the go. I've just done a little test patch here. So I've got a bit of um, lime and uh, mixed a little bit of clay in with it just to give it a slightly off-white colour. Um, I think that would uh, just be a bit better than downstairs because downstairs look amazing when I did it and it's lovely, all the light coming in and everything. Uh, but it just looks grubby too quick so I thought if we make it a little bit off-white with mixing a bit of clay in with it it might uh, stay looking a bit uh, tidier for longer. So yeah, it's quite nice actually. So yeah, it's just uh, slightly off-white. It's going to need two coats. Uh, I'm not going to plaster it. I'm just going to lime wash the cob. So yeah, I think we'll go with that. Right, end of the day, can't show you where we got to because it's getting too dark in there. God, I need a haircut. <laughs> yeah, show you in the morning. But uh, we did like two mixes of, uh, big mixes of cob and uh, got round to the window. But, yeah, show you in the morning. Right, it's a new day. Show you what we got done yesterday. So I did round the side there from about that plug round to the window. And then my helper did that little bit there, which is... Um, really looking lovely with all the curved windows and everything and then uh, in the afternoon Doc came along and started to get a first coat of this uh, lime and clay uh, wash just to give it a bit of a just take the white off it so it's not too white and uh, that's going to get two coats of that um, yeah, so I'll show you mixing it it's just, um, it's just lime with um, clay slip added to it just to give it a bit of a sort of more of a beige than a white yeah, I think it looks quite good really. Another coat, it should um, fill in some of the high spots a bit more. Nice, uh, nice natural look. So yeah, gonna carry on round and see if we can get probably into that corner today and round past the window. So yeah, let's get on with it. Right, so uh, that wall is mostly done now and I've been concentrating on doing the cordwood along the tops. It's starting to get a bit dark in here now, so I thought I'd just show you. And I've got a little bit under the window done as well, which you saw earlier. So yeah, get in there. Tomorrow I'm going to concentrate on getting all the uh, gaps filled around the roof. And hopefully we'll have the plastering done in here tomorrow and then it's going to be working our way down the stairs. Right, the next day, and we're carrying on with cobbing, plastering. Uh, see, we're getting round to the stairs now. And I've started going along the top walls, filling in them. So I'm going to continue around there all day today, working around filling in those gaps. And then the mystery helper is going to start going in the corner. Then we can take out the temporary platform that's in here. And then uh, we can do the stairs. And then it's lime washing, and then next week's going to be doors. Well, maybe not lime washing, we might have to wait for it to dry a bit. The colour's turning out really nice. Just off white, so yeah, quite like the colour. Uh, it's going to need another coat, but yeah, they're just off white. I think it's going to be not look dirty so quick. Yeah, let's carry on. It's a bit repetitive. Not a lot I can do about that, but I'll try and do a bit more filming. But yeah, let's get around there.
So they're just adding this uh, piece of um, round wood here. It's got a natural curve to it. It's just a little bit of extra support for the middle because it's not touched in the middle. It's only touched on these ends. Uh, but mostly it's there just to fill in space because um, cobbing all that, it would be too high to cob. And this is just going to help with that. Um, but yeah, it adds a bit of additional support as well. I mean, that's not touching, and I mean, a curved piece of round wood like that can take a lot of weight. Yeah, mostly it's just, like I say, to form cob around it and fill in the gap a little bit. Good morning everyone, so back on the cobbin. So yesterday I got above this bit done, which was a bit, I was sort of uh, dreading a little bit because it's a bit of a faff. And I started working my way around, filling in the tops around this corner in there. So I did that, that used a lot of cob because it was a big gap. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and get all of the tops filled in today. And um, the mystery helper, has been going around doing the rest of the plastering basically started to work his way down the stairs so yeah the stairs have started I'll give you a bit of a closer look so yeah the uh, the old staircase is getting done or at least down the stairs the staircase I'm gonna do later but uh, yeah it's a little patch to do in that corner and then we need to do this wall here we need to do this little uh, guard Guard, a lot of bags, whatever you call it, guard rail, bit two, and just fill in those gaps, and it's gonna be time for line washing. Yeah. It's coming along, but uh, I bought four ton of sand to do this, and it's half and half, it's half sand, half clay subsoil that I use, and I've almost used all the sand, so in here, there's eight tons of cob on the wall. Maybe even a little bit more than that. Yeah, eight tons of cob in plaster. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot to fill in all those spaces between the bags. See, but yeah, right. A uh, lot of cob mixing today. At least three big half-ton mixes like that, and uh, we should be done. Right, we get to work. Right, it's Sunday morning. Um, all last week we were doing the cob plastering. Uh, again, it was a bit difficult for me to film as much as I'd like because I had um, someone helping that doesn't want to be in camera and um, I'm really quite dependent on that help at the moment because you know there was so much work went into that plastering I think we did like 20 half ton mixes or something like that you know serious amount of work and uh, I would have really struggled to do it in that time I wouldn't have been able to do it in that time on my own um, so yeah but the the videos suffer a little bit as a result <clears throat> But yeah, Sunday morning, yesterday I went and did a hydroelectric survey. I've got so many hydroelectric jobs coming in now. And uh, so today, I'm just going to show you what we got done. done. Just a couple more mixes left to do, and it'll be there. So uh, just show you where we're at with it. It's looking really nice, actually. So yeah, we managed to get all the way around with the cob and uh, down the stairs. And I filled in all the gaps around the tops as well with the cordwood. Uh, not lime washed yet because it's not dry I'll be doing that next week um, I haven't done the outsides of the cordwood um, logs 
it's just all rough on the outside so that needs doing as well and you see there's a little bit to do there by the stairs still and down the stairs show you that in a minute yeah it's coming along it's almost done almost ready for lime washing and then we're going to move on to doing these doors all right take you over and show you the stairs so while i was filling in all of the cordwood and doing all that helper went down the stairs sorted that out as you can see there's still a bit of a patch to do on the side there but uh it's mostly done all the cables are hidden in there and uh so that little area there is going to become just like storage for um alternators and things yeah I'll take you down and show you the uh, door because it's quite cool so yeah there's the uh roundwood arched door that i made well years ago now it's starting to get cobbed in it still needs a bit of work to it's had a pretty extreme overhang um but yeah it's mostly done and there's a light going up onto that on that little suspended floor there to light up the stairs but yeah it's coming along and we can get to the lower workshop now here we go cob 90 percent well more than 90 percent done so next week i'm gonna mess about with this uh, finalize it get the lime washing done i'm also going to collect a cnc plasma table that i'm getting given uh, kindly given by a company i'm going to make a video on it i'm going to go there to do some uh, some training on it and make a little video um it's made in the uk so it's uh, quite cool really and um yeah the next ne the, the rest of the week then we'll just be tinkering and getting this finalized and then the week after i'm going to start doing these uh, big main doors here that's going to be quite a task so yeah exciting anyway sunday we're going to go and move the sheep into a new field because they uh, depleted one of the fields so i thought i'd put the drone up and then just show moving happy sheep because they usually do a bit of a jump and a dance when they go in which is quite nice all right let's go and do that where are they there they are they usually uh quite like getting let into a new field there's a nice lot, a lot more grass over there than there is in this one. So anyway, should be pretty pleased about it. We're going to also move, they've got a little shelter in this corner, just over here, oh sorry, wrong way. Over there, we've got the little shelter there they quite enjoy, so we're going to move that as well. Come on. Come on. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. They didn't think much of the drone. Yeah, do you want to let them in, my dear? New grass, right. Come on, new grass. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, they didn't jump. Oh well, they'll be happy anyway. All right, well, that's going to be the end of this video. Let's say next uh, couple of weeks now, we'll be finishing the cob and uh, doing the doors. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.